All right, Flick here from the Nerd Soapbox, and today we're at Son of Monster Palooza 2022 in Burbank, California, with a special guest. Our guest is a model and actress who holds both a master's degree and a PhD. She's best known to the Nerd Soapbox gang for playing Judith Myers, the sister and first victim of murderer Michael Myers in the 1978 horror film classic Halloween. Our special guest is Sandy Johnson. Hi, Sandy. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh. So, how's your convention so far? It has been wonderful. Lots of fans just having a wonderful time. All right. But what was your fandom growing up uh, when you were a little girl? Were you into sports or dolls or comic books or cartoons? Well, let's see. I did like Barbie. All right. But I also like scary movies. It's fantastic. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay, okay. So, tell me. Um, we're jumping up ahead a little bit here. Okay. Um, how, how did you become a Playmate of the Month in June 1974 issue of Playboy magazine? How did that come about? Well, that came about because my father was very sick with cancer. All right. And I needed to be able to make some money to help pay for his medication. So a friend of mine said, maybe you should try out for Playboy because they, play, they pay a lot of money. All right, yeah, yeah. So that's what I did. And they accepted wow. me. And so I, I did it to make the money. Okay. Oh, wow. you, you, you achieved uh, endearing cult cinema status as Michael Myers' sister. Judith in the opening scene of the John Carpenter 78 horror film Halloween. What was the audition process like for you for Halloween? Well, I was called in and I read several different parts right. and then they had me scream and <laughs> yeah, it was a residential neighborhood so that was a little interesting. Right. We actually interviewed in one of the houses oh, okay. that they use in Halloween. In fact, they were shooting some of the scenes in another part of the house. Oh, wow. Yeah. So um, that's what it was. They just interviewed me and had me scream. And a couple days later, they called back and said, we have cast you as Judith Myers. Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> what was John Carpenter like as a director? Uh, John Carpenter was wonderful. He was, um, him and Deborah Hill both, because right. they really helped uh, kind of act out the scenes, you know, what they wanted and how they wanted it to be staged and everything. Right, yeah, yeah. So. He was, he was very kind and very good. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, at what point did you realize how impactful this low-budget film was on the horror genre? Well, it's pretty interesting. I was a little late on the uptake. I realized it in 2018 <laughs> when my current agent found me and really? said, um, I'd really like to have you do con conventions for signings. All right. And I was very surprised to hear that I had fans all over the world. Wow. <laughs> That's fantastic. Okay. What, what are people's reactions when they find out that you were in Halloween? And how did your family react when you were originally cast? Um, well, my mother was very happy about it. All right. I actually didn't tell my dad. Uh, he would not have been happy about it, and Aww. he was sick, so I didn't tell right. him. And my sisters were happy, so yeah, right. they were happy. They were excited for me. Hey, uh, could you maybe share with us a, a memorable fan encounter from attending the horror conventions? Oh my gosh, I've had so many. Um, I've had people just so excited to meet me after these years. Sometimes they cry, they just want to hug Aww. me. It's really special. Uh, that I can finally get to meet them. So I guess just, um, yeah, I think just the excitement that so many of them feel, especially if it's the first time they've met me. Yeah, I just love that when, they're, awesome. when they're so excited. <laughs> wow, okay, so I'd like to name a couple of other movies you were in, mm -hmm. along with maybe an actor or two okay. that you shared the screen with. Maybe All if right. you could sh share a, a small remembrance or an anecdote okay. uh, about them. Okay, right. so um, jokes my folks never told me, and maybe Anthony Kiedis? Okay, um, yes, he was a lot of fun, and we had a lot of fun on the set of that uh, show because I was just a, uh, a farmer's daughter, All right. and I was actually cast in that because I had a real southern accent. 
Yeah. <laughs> and of course, Anthony Kiedis is, uh, became the lead singer of the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Oh, isn't that interesting? I didn't yeah. know that. Really? No, I didn't. Yeah, it, 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 you were with Anthony Kiedis in that movie. Yes, oh. that's very cool. Did you? Did, what was he like? Was he a nice guy? Um, yeah, he was a nice guy. We had fun in the scenes. And um, I remember he was good looking. Yeah. <laughs> wow. All right. Okay. How about uh, ooh, How about uh, H O T S? You shared the screen with the Partridge Family's Danny Bonaducci, along with the, a real life bear named Sugar Bear. Yes. Any remembrances? Uh, well, let's see. On Hot, um, I was a a very kind of mean girl. Oh, I no. wasn't a nice girl. Oh, no. I was in a sorority and I was not nice to the other sorority girls. Uh -oh. So yeah, and as far as uh, Bonaducci, he was funny, okay. very funny, okay. and fun. And then, um, oh, the bear, yeah, yeah the bear. We, <laughs> we were actually in a hot air balloon together, so that was really scary. You, you and the bear were in a hot air balloon? <laughs> yeah, nowhere wow. to go, nowhere to get away from the bear. Whoa, <laughs> okay, okay, wow. <laughs> oh yeah, the last one, um, Gas Pump Girls, feature, uh, and it also featured Hunts Hall from the Dead End Kids mm -hmm. and Joey Ross from Car 54, Where Are You? Right. Any remembrances of the guys or the movie? Well, they were inside the gas station and they right. were also very funny. They were cutting <laughs> up between the scenes and stuff. And actually that also has Kirsten Baker in it, oh. who was in Friday the 13th. Part two, I believe. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of fun. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, okay. So, what 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 prompted you to to um, to suspend your acting career and possibly go back to school? Well, I'll tell you. My right. both of my parents passed away when I was pretty young. Early. My dad was 19. My mom was 20. I was 26 okay. whenever she passed, and I was just very sad. And my sisters lived in Texas, so I thought, you know, I'm just going to go home to Texas. Right. So I went back to Texas. I decided to stay and get a degree and become a teacher. So that's what I did. Oh. Okay, okay. So your master's and Ph.D. degrees, are they in education? They are in education. The uh, second okay. one is in instructional online design. All right. And that was to create uh, courses for the Internet. Oh. Okay, wow. Hey, what are you up to these days? Well, these days I am doing a lot of signing conventions like this one. Okay. I've also done three cameo movies in the last year. That's fantastic. Yeah, and I have several more movies coming up. Wow. Good, yeah. good for you. Yeah, thank this is you. So cool. it, it, any names you could drop, that the, like the names of a movie I will look out for? Yes, um, right. there's going to be one called Bury the Hatchet. Okay. I'll be filming that later uh, next month, I think. All right. And then I've done, let's see, Halloween Slasher. Okay. Another one called Bulbs, which is a Hungarian right. film. And also one called Paradolia, which is a UK film. All right, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Are you on social media? I am on social media. Where can we find you? Well, let's see. On Instagram, I am Unicorn Sandy J. I love it. Yeah. That's so cute. And on Facebook, I am The Real Sandy Johnson. Wow. All right. Well, geez, Sandy, thanks for talking to of us. Of course. You're welcome. You're a little sweetheart. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> All right. Uh, better go before I start to blush. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see who else we can find to talk to at uh, Monster, Son of Monster Palooza 2022. Yeah. Can I get a little Pleasure, hug? of course. Oh. Wow. <laughs> You're adorable. Thank you. As Thank are you. you. <laughs> I've got to be blushing right now. I really can't go. <laughs>